My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Sam. This is the next leg of our quest. The abandoned temple. Here. Not far from Rorikstead. I remember seeing this. I believe there's a... Forsworn camp there at the top of the hill. I remember seeing this building. And now I should have the key. Let's go. Slowly now. We don't know what to expect. It seems peaceful enough. A place of worship. Is this a little girl? A disarming little girl. A little girl that I don't trust. Hello. Who are you? What is it you need? I lost my doll. Her name is Deidre. Sam, are you hearing this? Do you have any idea where Deidre went? The evil witch took it. Witch? Can you help get Deidre back for me? I'm sorry, child. That doll is probably gone for good. You should move on. That me. <laughs> that would be an understatement. You have nothing to say? Hello. Do you need something? So... I thought so. Molagmal. I wonder what this girl is. Hello. Do you need something? All right, it looks like it's this way, Sam. Again, stay on your guard. I'm pretty sure that's not a little girl. Don't tell me we're going to have to help that little girl. Could be too late, though. She already told me that I was mean. All right. Hello. Do you need something? I need a key. And I suppose you're not going to help me. Hmm. 
There's even a staff enchanter in here. Soto's diary. I was hoping there was a key on this corpse. Let's see what this has to say. You've got to be kidding me. I made it this far. I can almost taste the cure. And look, all our old gear. It's all mine now. I'm not going to let a locked gate stand in my way. I'll just pick through it. What's the worst that could happen? Well, I think we're looking at it. Incineration, perhaps. All right, let's ask that little girl. I put in quotes, little girl, about the key. It's a good thing, you know, my first instinct was to slay her. You've certainly gotten quiet all of a sudden. You were quite chatty earlier. To an annoying degree. Little girl. I bet you want to help find my doll now. So, I'm guessing you have the key to that gate downstairs. Only one way to find out. <laughs> All right, little girl, you win. Where did your doll get taken? To the bag. Of course. And where is that? Here, I'll mark it on your map. Oh, my goodness. Why is it called the bad place? Oh, you'll see. And remember, if they're mean to you, it's okay to be mean back. But don't come back without your dress. Okay. All right. So, we're headed to the temple of Zenimax. Interesting. I think I'm actually going into places where I've seen in my travels but never had a purpose for being there. All right, Sam, let's see where we have to head. Yes, I have been to the Temple of Zenimax before. Let's go. Good, you're still here. Uh-oh. Thank you. No need for me to get my hands soiled. Oh. Hello. Welcome to the creation shop, where everything just works. Tell me about this place. This is the Temple of Zinimax Creation Store, where we sell only the finest creations. What are creations? They are modifications to your existing supply of weapons and armor. That you pay for. You can acquire the creations with credits. Do I have to pay for the credits? When you first sign up, we give you 100 free credits. What weapons or armor can I buy with those 100 credits? 
absolutely nothing. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? You're lucky I'm in a good mood. I appreciate the humor of this situation. So, I have to pay for more credits with real money in order to buy anything. Yes, you purchase credits, and then you can use those credits so you can acquire our creations. <laughs> yes, the absurdity of it all. Okay, so it's like paid mods then. No. Creations are more like mini DLC. Oh, DLC, I get it. So it's included for free with my season pass. No, creations are different. You have to pay extra. So they are modifications that you pay for, but they aren't paid mods. That is correct. Sounds like you're trying to say it isn't what it is. You're trying to force something new into an existing category. Creations are different. They are not paid mods or DLC. They are creations. What are paid mods then? Paid mods is when the mod creator gets to keep a percentage of the sales from their work and they are also given credit for it. With a popular enough mod, the creator might even be able to make a living from their work. Might be. That doesn't sound so bad. When we tried that approach, it failed. With creations, we pay the creator a small amount up front, and then we keep all the money from the sales. So, relatively speaking, the mod authors receive very little money. Yes, but with paid mods, any modder can make a mod and then release it for money without any QA testing or vetting by us. I love it. It seems like there's a political agenda to this quest. So, part of what you're offering here is QA testing. Yes. But your own stuff doesn't work. Modders constantly have to fix it for you. All of our content just works. <laughs> and the free versions modders make are higher quality than your paid versions. Look, I am sorry if my answers aren't good enough. Creations are not paid mods, or DLC. They are different, and we are proud of our work. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I feel like I'm arguing with a Dwemer contraption. I believe we are done. I believe so too. Actually, I'm here for the doll you took from the little girl. And that's a big assumption that you are actually the witch that she spoke of. Why do you think it was hers to begin with? So I believe this is going to be slightly more complicated than I thought. Because she made it. That doll was based on a product we previously released. And that makes it your doll. Sometimes, our ideas cross similar ground as independent creators. In those cases, we acquire the free version in order to make a paid version of the product. <laughs> now I understand why this is called the bad place. Is the paid version you create better than the free version? Not exactly. <laughs> Why would I want the paid version when there's a superior free version? As official content, our creations are approved, curated, and taken through a full internal development cycle. This guarantees that all our content works together. But your content doesn't work together. 
I've heard it's buggy as oblivion. No, all of our content just works. <laughs> you keep saying that. Are there any other advantages to your paid version over the free version? For one, our creations do not prevent you from earning achievements. Do people still care about achievements? I'm pretty sure there's a free mod for that. Thanks for providing that information. We shall be sure to make a paid version as soon as possible. <laughs> Do you sell anything unique that your customers can't get for free elsewhere? Of course. We sell both horse and mud crab armor. I thought those armors were meant as a joke. No, that is not our recollection. So, look. I'm just here for the little girl's doll. Can you please give it back? No. That is against our policy. Hmm. All right. And she seems resistant to compulsion. Let's try a different approach. There is an issue with a purchase I made. That is not very likely. All of our products are guaranteed to just work. Then what have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. We refer to them as creations. Oh my goodness, there really is horse armor and mud crab armor. All right. Sam, nothing? You haven't said a single word since we began this quest. All right, I'm at an impasse. I can't compel her. I don't know if she's even human. But I did spot a note here. No, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> it wasn't a note at all. <laughs> Someone has a great sense of humor. All right, there's something we need to discover. And I believe I need to use the stairs here. Oh, no. Sam, get up here. Wait, this man's name is Todd, really? A suicide note? I can't wait to read it. I'm ending this before any more of my work can be used for evil. When we started out, we simply wanted to make unique products that made our customers happy. And we did. But after the war started, our shop stumbled on hard financial times and we borrowed money from a Thalmor group to make ends meet. When we missed a loan payment, the Thalmor took possession of our shop and demanded we overhaul our business plan. After we refused their demands for shoddy product, quality, overpricing, and deceiving our customers, they kidnapped our families, replaced us with interns, and proceeded to torture us 
until we agreed to abide by their agenda. Don't be fooled by the, cur the courteous demeanor of the lady behind the counter. She's an absolute monster. Frankly, I'm not sure she's even human. That's what I figured. Or an elf, if you know what I mean. But I digress. The good people of Skyrim believe the awful knockoff products this store has been selling recently are my fault, but they don't realize it's not me making these decisions. It's our Thalmor parent company, Zenimax. As a last resort, I was able to develop a failsafe, a spell that would destroy this place and perhaps restore some of our goodwill with the community. The Thalmor confiscated the spell, but their bureaucratic red tape has so far kept them from destroying it. The spell tome is still inside the dresser in the corner. Please, if you're reading this and you care about product quality and honest dealings, Use the spell tome to destroy this infernal creation store and honor my team's legacy. <laughs> Quite entertaining. Quite entertaining indeed. Is this the dresser? Look at this torture tools. Huh, I could actually take these, but... Oh, and a torturer's hood. So who came up here and performed the torture? Is it the woman behind the counter? Look at this. I wonder who these poor souls were. Well. How freshly killed are you? Fresh enough that I can feed... So, something in the dresser, in the corner, here it is, the spell tome, restore goodwill. So, this seems to be some sort of diversion from our mission to find a cure for Sam's vampirism. Where is Sam, anyway? All right, ma'am. Since I wasn't able to get anywhere with you. that this would be a destruction spell. Yes. Welcome to the creation shop, where everything just works. All right, I'm told to get out of here once the spell has been cast. Bandit is still there. Why do I get the feeling I didn't do this properly? I thought I was out. Oh, there you are. Maybe 
maybe I need to cast it from here. Yes, I know this is fire. Welcome to the creation shop, where everything just works. All right, let's go. So if we head over here to this arrow, is this far enough away? Wait, where is... Alright, I fired the spell. Where is Deidre? Welcome to the creation shop, where everything her. just works. And I don't even know what I'm looking for. Alright. Apparently, Deidre is inside. Bittersweet. I wish there was more of them. We're attacked by a hag. Something's happening. Welcome to the creation shop, where everything just works. Unlock the door. Oh, I see. We need to leave and then destroy it. Come on. wonder where that hag came from. All right, so let's go back over here somewhere. Wait, it's destroyed. What? What? Okay. <laughs> And here is Deidre. Oh, 
an unscathed passport. Huh. All right. Well, we'll leave it on her for identification. Okay, it looks like we're done here. All right, Sam, it's time to get back to... If I could remember the name of this place. The Abandoned Temple. Well, that was a very politically motivated... Uh, Adventure. Girl. Did you find my doll? I did. Here you go. Sorry about the burn marks. Oh no, Deidre. Are you okay? So, do I get the armory key now? Okay, I guess so. Here you go. Are you ready, Sam? There's a lot of staffs here. What can I do for you? Oh, now you're going to speak. All right. Wow. Isn't this powerful? A ebony battle axe of decortication burns the target for 35 points, gradually melting their gear away and making them flee in terror once fully defenseless. Okay. And a sword that does the same thing. As well as a dagger. A pendulum of justice. Well, I have to study this. A red guard trident. Reaper leggings. This is the armor. It's heavy armor. We'll take it. Reaper schematics. leave the schematics here. I don't know if I'll ever use them. Elixir of water breathing. So, I now have a set of your armor. It looks like this is it. Are you sure you don't want to think about this longer? I found the vampirism cure you are looking for. Thank you. I can't tell you how much this means. Here. A little something for your trouble. That's it. So, what will you do now? I'm going to take this cure back to the Red Lantern for now. 
You're not going to use the cure right away. No. Switching back into a mortal is a major decision. Being a vampire does have some amazing perks. I'm going to enjoy these perks for a little longer, and probably use the potion once my blood cravings start back up. Fair enough. Thank you again, my friend. This has been quite an experience. If you ever want some more company for a road, let me know. All right. So, he's heading back to the Red Lantern. A Dragonbone Trident. Well, there's certainly... What is... I don't think this is enchanted, though. Certainly some decent weapons here. Let's see, can I learn this? Yes, I can. Decortication. Let's go ahead and use the dagger since I wouldn't use a dagger to begin with. All right, I need to say goodbye to Molly. Hi there. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sad Sam didn't like my gift. What are you talking about? Being a vampire. It's a pretty cool thing, you know. Really? What do you mean, your gift? Everyone knows the patron deity. No. Know your place, mortal. Or Molegval may just send another champion to crush your broken corpse. Lord Baal, it is you. And to think I wanted to slay you. <laughs> I'm, I must apologize. I didn't recognize you. Do you understand now? Understand what? You mean why you've started dressing up as a little girl? Why I sent you to the bad place? Oh, that. Because there can only be one prince of domination and enslavement. Precisely. <laughs> and you felt the creation store was cutting in on your action. Now you get it. That was a lot of work, though, just to get some custom weapons and gear. Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? I suppose I should have known better. So, are we free to go, or are you still upset at Sam? Fine. You'll get the freedom your kind enjoys so much. But know that I will be watching. <laughs> hmm. So... This is... an altar. A temple for Lord Molag Baal. Now I will remember this place. All right. I think I'm going to return to the Red Lantern and see if there are any other unusual adventures that I can partake in.